Hello and welcome to Online Teaching Conference 2012. My name's Glenn Genowin, and I'm a full-time professor at Kaplan University in the School of Information Systems and Technology. Today, I'll be sharing with you a product created by TechSmith called Jing. This is a free application that allows you to take screen captures on the fly and also record your computer screen so you can demonstrate how, a complete, how to complete a specific task and then share that capture or video instantly with your students, uh, fellow uh, faculty members, um, whomever. And it's available for both the Windows and Mac platforms. So as I mentioned, Jing is a free product as well as the area you upload the files to, which is called Screencast. There is a professional version of Screencast which is about $9.95 a month. Upgrading to the professional version will provide you with more storage space for all your videos and screen captures that you'll create using Jing. Now, you do not have to upgrade to the professional version because there's plenty of space provided with Screencast. Each free account comes with 25 gigabytes of storage space and 200 gigabytes of monthly bandwidth. And what that means is the number of people that can view your videos at any given time, which is uh, 200 gigabytes is almost uh, endless. Jim integrates also with other TechSmith applications, such as Snagit, which is a screen capture uh, program that is a lot more robust than uh, this free version of Jing, and also Camtasia Studio, this uh, uh, the studio that helps you create a more professional presentation. Uh, and you can add more elements to your video presentation with uh, Camtasia. And both Snagit and Camtasia are, pro are produced by TechSmith, and uh, there is a cost associated with those. But we'll stick with the free Jing for this presentation. So I wanna, what I want to do now is, is take you to the Jing website and show you around the website a little bit. Then I want to demonstrate how to take a screen capture. I'll show you how to make a video quickly and upload it to Screencast so it's viewable by uh, anybody that you like. And then I'll take you into Screencast itself and show you around Screencast. And that should pretty much uh, wrap this up. So let me get my desktop ready to uh, get shared. And um, I'll take you to Jing. You should be able to see it here in just a moment. OK, so this is the Jing website that you're looking at right now. And it's pretty easy to find. Um, it's at www.techsmith.com forward slash jing.html. If you can't remember that, you just type it into Google, type Jing into Google, and it'll take you right to this website here. On this website, it's very easy. You can um, go through and learn more about Jing, how to use it, how others are using it. Um, it talks a little bit about screencast.com, uh, the features, how it's used, how to download it. Uh, scroll down a little bit more here. And as I mentioned, uh, Snagit that tells you a little bit more about what Snagit is and how to use Snagit. There's a link here that takes you to Snagit if you have some interest in that. Same with uh, Camp Stu Camtasia Studio and Camtasia for Mac. It tells a little bit more about that as well. And then you can see how uh, different people are using it in, in business and in educational settings. There is a Jing Pro available. There's more information here. And I talked a little bit about it a little bit about that in my introduction. Once you have downloaded Jing, by clicking on the free download here, it, takes, it doesn't take long to download it at all. It doesn't uh, um, add a lot of information to your computer, so you don't have to worry about it taking up a lot of space. But what it does, once you, do, once you have downloaded Jing, it'll create what's called the Jing Sun. And you can see it right up here at the top of my screen, there looks like a sun right here. And the sun actually has sun rays that come out. These are each called rays. And each of these, these rays here uh, are used for specific um, features within Jing. 
this first ray is the capture ray. This is this is where you'll capture your um, this next ray is the history of all your captures and your videos. If you want to go back and take a look at what you've done in the past, you can click on this, and it'll, you can see the history. And then, of course, settings here. Uh, you can create different buttons to share. Uh, you can share your screen captures and videos to to Facebook, to YouTube. You can save them to your desktop or upload them to your free uh, uh, website of Screencast. So um, you can set those options here. Um, at this rate. But right now what I want to do is show you how to quickly take how quickly and easy it is to take a screenshot using this free product Jing. So I'm going to come up here to my sun. I'm going to click the first ray here, which is a capture ray. And what you'll see here are some crosshairs. You can go to any area of the of your of your screen that you want or your application, whatever you want to take a screenshot of. And then all you got to do is Click your mouse button down, click and drag all the way over to where you want to capture your, your image, release your mouse, and then you've captured this entire area right here. So now you can either capture the image, create a video, and I'll, the video will do a little bit later. You can undo this and reselect if you want to do such a bigger area, a smaller area, or cancel it out altogether. Uh, you can do that as well. And this tells you how big your capture is. So let's go ahead and capture this image. I'm going to click on the Capture Image button. And very quickly, just grab that image and put it into a, an application here within Jing where you can um, uh, add different elements to it. And over here on the left side is the toolbox. And you can select arrows, you can add text blocks. You can add a frame around anything you want. You can highlight um, an area. You can uh, color an area in. So let's try a few of these tools. So uh, let's first try the text option here. I'm going to click on the text um, option. I'm going to click and drag my mouse somewhere on the image itself. And I'm going to type in here um, free download. And so if you want to say, OK, here's where you click. Choose an arrow from your toolbox over here, and click and drag your arrow way over here. And so you can click this button right here for the free download. You can also put a that by clicking on the frame and dragging around here. So you can do a lot of different things that, that um, to enhance your image. And then you can either upload that image to your, your free space on, on uh, Screencast. That way you can just send out a link to this image, and anybody clicks on that link can see this image right away. You can save the image to your desktop, and then send it out in an email, perhaps, or share it within your classroom. You can copy this, and you can make several copies of it if you want to add different things, different uh, elements to each copy. Uh, you can share it via Facebook if you, if you have your, if you have Jing set up to connect to your Facebook account. Of course, if this isn't what you want, you can cancel it. Uh, as well. So for uh, this example, I'm going to share it via Screencast. But first, I'm going to give it a name here so that I, when I go to Screencast, I can find it very easily. So I'll name this Free Download of Jing. And I can click on my uh, button that says Share via Screencast.com. And what it does is then it will take it, and in the background, it will start uploading it to um, Screencast. And once it's done, you'll get a, a notice that you've just seen there, or a notice saying that it's there, ready to go. And then you can go to Screencast and find that. So let's do that. Let's see what Screencast looks like and how you can uh, locate those items. Yeah. This is the free area that when you uh, download Jing, it gives you access to uh, storage and um, you can create different uh, items or folders within Screencast. You can see I have some here of my Glenn how-to that I share with my students and um, some Jing captures. This was the, the Screencast I just um, did for this presentation, free download of Jing. If I click on this image, look 
come up, and there's my image. If I click on Show Details, and I click on Share here, I can capture uh, or just highlight this link and send that link out. And anybody that clicks on that, on that link will see this image. If you want to paste this on a web page or a blog, or if you're using a course management system for your online classes, you can embed this image by copying this this uh, code and put it in, into an announcement or a discussion board or your blog or website, and it'll automatically put that image right inside of your blog or your course. So that's a screen capture, and how easy it is to create a screen capture and go find it on on Screencast. So let's come back here now. And let's take a look how easy it is to actually create a video. Let's say we want to create a video of that exact same image, but this time instead of putting arrows and text blocks on there, we want to explain to uh, someone where to click and what Jing is, just like I'm doing at, at this time. So I'm come back to my son. I'm going to select my capture way again. And I'm going to go ahead and click here and drag across just like I did for the screen capture. This time, I'm going to select Capture Video. And it's going to come up with a 3, 2, 1. And then you have your microphone on, usually a headset, and you're recording. You can see uh, your how loud you are, how soft you are on this bar right here. And you you can um, it'll capture your, your cursor. So you can explain exactly what you want to be doing during this time and what to uh, click and download. So you're explaining during this, this video, you're capturing this video, and it's capturing your voice at the same time. Then once you're done, you select the Stop button. And it's going to grab that video. And now you can see you can play the video here. It plays it back. And so you can make sure that this is what you want before you give it a name and, and save it. And um, you, you have a couple options again. You can save it. You can see my mouse cursor running across there. And uh, this is what you, whoever you share this with will see as well. They'll see this, and they'll hear you explaining it as well. And you just do the same thing. You can save it. You can upload it to Screencast. You can upload it to Facebook or you can just cancel out all together. Let's first give it a name here. I'll just say um, Video Example in Jing. And once again, we can just click on that button. It automatically uploads the file to Screencast. You can see the progress right here and how quickly it does upload. Of course, if your videos are longer, uh, it takes a little bit longer. And the maximum uh, length of a video that you can create on Jing is five minutes. So keep that in mind as you're, as you're thinking about what you want uh, in your video. It can't be any longer than five minutes. So now it's ready. It's a screencast. It, it told us. So we can go back to the screencast here. Go back into the Jing area. And here's the video. It's already here waiting for us. And once again, I can click on this. And there's a video ready to play. And now it's playing. And it's Again, click on that link and send that link out to somebody. Then come here and watch this video for you. Or you can, again, embed this video and they can actually see the live video on your blog, your website, in your classroom, wherever you want to place it. Uh, here's the, the HTML code that's generated for you. You just copy and paste this into um, wherever you want the video to appear. And the video ends. So that's, that's Jing. Uh, real quickly, that, that's a quick overview of Jing and how to use Jing, how to create a screen capture, how to share those screen captures and videos. And the last thing I want to then show you here is the history. I'm going to click on the history here. And here it shows you all the different things you've done in the past. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger so you can see this. And you can uh, sort of by date, by size. And then just scroll through and just keep the history of what you've done so you can go back and fix things if you want and record things and find things and download them to your computer perhaps. Whatever you want to do, they're here. It gives you the date and the time that you've created it, how long it is, the size of, the size of it. So that's all uh, 
in the history area. And then finally, in the uh, preferences, you can you can change um, your account, the video format, if you want a Flash or MPEG-4, depends on, on how you're sharing it, what you're sharing, why you're sharing it. You can customize your buttons. This is the, the place that a lot of people uh, use the most is click on customize buttons. And you can add buttons. You can upload right to YouTube, to Facebook. You can uh, edit, save and edit a copy. You can just save a copy and then upload it to Screencast. And you can add more. You can create new buttons and add more uh, areas that you want to save it to. Uh, if you have a other area, maybe you have an FTP uh, service that you want to send it to, you can add that here as well just by customizing a button for that. And then you just exit, Jing if you want, and that will close the program all together. Or you just click on Finish, and it puts the sun back up wherever you and put that sun anywhere that you want that. So that's it. That's screen capturing with Jing, creating a video with Jing, and um, how easy it is to do. So hopefully you'll, hopefully you'll use this in your classrooms, uh, in your personal lives even, business lives. Uh, if you need more information about this, uh, feel free to contact me at any time. And um, enjoy the rest of the conference.